Hello. Hello. Uh, today I have a, um, a vision that I want to uh, go through and just read to you and um, we'll, uh, we'll learn something from it. Okay, so um, I was told to read Psalm 18, 1 through 24. And um, I don't have it all written out. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So, but um, go ahead and do that. Psalm 18, 1 through 24. The Lord is showing me a well-respected pastor, one that he loves. The pastor believes in the tithe and says some things which would indicate that he believes in other aspects of the law. So... That's how it started. And then Father is saying that we do not have authority of ourselves to decide what to follow regarding the law or the spirit who is from God. And then he started showing me a vision. It was a vision of a garment which is full of patches. Um, some are sewed on tightly. Others are nearly falling off. He says that this garment represents theology and doctrine of those who attempt to follow both the law and the spirit. There is a constant repairing and attempting to complete a belief system that will work, but it never really does. There is always something that is, um, needs updating and repair it is held together by the thread of human thought and the intellect. Then I saw another garment, one that was partially hidden from my view. It had no patches and no seams at all. What I could see of it was perfect. It had no wrinkle or spot and yet it appeared, or I understood, that it would fit the wearer perfectly. Even though I couldn't see it in its entirety, the Lord is saying that the second garment is worn by the wearer in a mystery. It is put on, in quotation marks, in faith. The wearer must admit that he does not know everything that his heart believes. That was an interesting statement. The wearer must believe that, um, must admit that he does not know everything his heart believes. Even so, all knowledge and wisdom is available to him by the Spirit of Christ. He knows by the Spirit that God never changes. And as such, the parts of Scripture written to those who are under the law will have a deeper and richer meaning, which is not available except by the Spirit. He doesn't have to make statements saying that God in the New Covenant is different than the God of the Old Covenant. There's there's some other, you know, there's uh, that the statement about not, uh, what was that statement? I, I thought of a, a part of scripture came to mind when I when I saw it. Um, we must admit that we don't know everything that our heart believes. Well, in Hebrews it says that by faith we believe that God created um, the worlds. Well, we don't know how He did that. He just spoke them into His existence. But we have to believe even though we don't know exactly how he did it. Um, uh, so I just thought that was a, a very interesting vision. I hope it blesses you. And um, I think that's it. Anything? That's great. It's just you can't mix the spirit and the intellect. Yeah. It's, I think, the point of it. Um, it is. Because otherwise that garment is patched up and fallen apart and you can't keep it together because your intellect can't hold something together mm -hmm. um, but if you just have the spirit the garment will fit perfectly and um, yeah. you won't have to mess with your intellect 
Well, it kind of draws a picture too, doesn't it? Of like, when you think of um, theologies that are a patchwork, um, you think of the a picture in your mind, systematic theology. Mm -hmm. uh, how many volumes, maybe a couple feet wide, giant books, huge amount of information in there that tells you how God works and how this religion that people are following works. They, they, they piece it all together and they cover up all the, the uh, mistakes and potholes and, and it, with more theology. It's all a patchwork. Freshly sewn on some of them, some of them old, some of them new, but it's all a patchwork. But the garment that's from God, the, from the Spirit, um, no spot or wrinkle, that's it's talking just like his last day's church. Mm -hmm. um, all these theologies and all that stuff, what you know takes a way back seat to what your heart says mm -hmm. and how your heart believes and has faith in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. Amen. Be blessed.